When it comes to the movie business, Portland is more like the Twilight Zone than Hollywood. But there are three local feature-length films in production. The Northwest Film Study Center offers regular support to our working community of filmmakers by offering workshops with big-time professionals. One of the most popular is conducted by Delia Salvi. She's a teacher of actors and directors at UCLA. What you see on the screen in your favorite film or television show does not come easy. The people who make the film usually spend years developing their skills. Most spend a lot of time in workshops like this. Then you took her upstairs and you raped her. Elaine, that is not what happened to her. Please let me go. All right. But listen, what happened was there was this party at my parents. I drove your mother home. We went upstairs to look at your portrait. And when we got upstairs, she started taking her clothes off. Delia Salvi teaches what is called method acting and how to direct method actors. She's taught such people as David Ward, writer of The Sting, Three's Company's Joyce DeWitt, and Michael Warren of Hill Street Blues. Method acting as a system was begun more than 60 years ago by Konstantin Stanislavski at the Moscow Art Theater. I would like you to critique what worked for you and what didn't work for you, because as a director, that's your job, to critique what you're seeing as you're watching it and then coming up with the solutions. The psychic reality that this person has, what is it? It's so strong for him. Uh-huh. Um, so powerful that because of the intensity of the feelings that we were dealing with, the anger that was here, um, it's, uh, it, it's a very difficult thing to bring out. What we're talking about here is an actor who feels things intensely but is afraid to let go. And he's got to be able to let go in order to let that flow freely and let leave himself open to experiencing other things. Believe me, holding on to it does not keep it, it kills it. You and everybody else, primarily you. When you die, we die. When you experience, we experience. And that's what it's all about anyway. That's all theater, theater in the broad sense of the term is, is to give the audience a vicarious experience. Now, why people go see things like The Exorcist, I'll never know who needs that kind of a vicarious experience. But the point is, that's what it's about. Here we go. Roll sound, roll tap. Salvi, the teacher, regularly puts herself in the actor's place. Action! While in Portland, she appeared in Susan Shadburn's first feature film, Ghost Rider. As an actress, I feel much more vulnerable. Much more is putting it mildly. <laughs> and very vulnerable when I'm acting. When I'm teaching acting, or teaching directing, or directing, I'm using my instincts in my head, but I'm not really putting myself on the line at the moment. It's beautiful, isn't it? Look at you. You've had that robe for as long as I can remember. It looks like it, doesn't it? Looks great. All right. You're talking for an audience. You're not talking to her. Uh, so, where's the line again? Look at you. You've had that robe for as long as I can remember. And, and that. Says it looks like, and I say it looks great, and then I give her a hug. Okay. Um, did you notice the difference in the placement of your voice? When you say the line to her, it's like this. And when you told me the line, it was like that. And it should come easily like that. Not like that. All the method is is just helping people do what they do naturally. Not imitating life, but, re but creating life at the moment. You know, as if for the first time. He's not really put together right. Who, the character? Or no, the actor? The, the character. I mean, he's not put together. Quite yeah, right. that's okay with me. We are, Which I'm is not, why he fails all the time. You know, listen, Walt, I'm not uh, disagreeing with you about interpretation mm -hmm. at all. What I'm talking about has absolutely nothing to do with interpretation. Overacting As is a lot to... different from a real hysteria. Mm. Let's do it one more time. Rick, you're not talking to her. You're obligated to acting again. You create this prison, then use her as a way to get out. Because right now you're just playing with words. Let's do it one more time. Let's do the first half. How would you like to be in the movies and do 40 takes because your no. co-star, your <laughs> co-star can't remember her lines?
lonesome? Lonesome as a coyote. Can't you hear me hollering hello out there? Yeah, who are you hollering to? Nobody, I guess. Huh? I said, great, great. She made contact with him because there was somebody to make contact with. Rick was a real person this time. That one section, that one that we had so much trouble with, um, you uh, now, this is the first time that ever, ever, ever worked. So you learned something from this, I hope. What did you learn? What's your phone number? <laughs> <laughs> and can I call you?